I'm going to go over and plumbing in the FloViz complete unit. I'm going to go ahead and use 2 inch unions which is the easiest way to plumb this in. I'm going to need some primer and some PVC cement, sharpie, a ruler, sandpaper, clean the pipes and to sand off any paint. You might need some coupling, that a pipe, PVC pipe cutting tool, you can get this at Lowe's or Hacksaw. And you're going to need some 2 inch PVC pipe also. So it's going to look something like this when I finish plumbing it in. Let me get the measurements here. It's about 13 inches right now. So let me find an area where I can plumb this into my pipe. I think the best spot to actually plumb this in is vertically right here. I have some 13 inches here. I'm going to cut this pipe, plumb it right here. This is the return line coming out of the heater, coming out of the salt system. Basically the water will come out through here, go through the salt system, come down here, and then I'll put the flow viz right here. And then I'll go over in more detail at the end of the video about the rainbow chlorinator and how it could affect the flow viz. Um, this particular one is actually plumbed into a separate return line, so this one here is fine. It's not being used. I have a salt system here at this pool. Okay, before I cut the pipe here, I'm going to go ahead and do the plumbing on the flow viz itself, and then I'll bring it over here and I'll do some measurements. And then I'll go ahead and cut the plumbing so that it matches up exactly. So in most cases, using unions will be the easiest way to plumb it in. It's kind of hard to jam this in the two pipes, especially if you have no slack on the pipes itself. So the unions plumb in. This part will actually be glued in to the flow viz using a 2 inch PVC pipe in between. And this end will be coming on the pipe by the equipment. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the unions together. You'll see it in more detail when I'm actually doing the process. So the easiest way to do this is to get your ruler. I have it marked here for the depth of the flow viz here. There's the marking there, and it's actually the same depth that the pipe's going to go into this union here also. See that mark lines up right there. So I'm going to go ahead and measure a piece of 2-inch PVC pipe. I'm going to cut it, I'm going to go ahead and build this part first. Then I'll bring it over to the pipe and I'll go ahead and plumb it in. I got the 2-inch PVC pipe. This will be the end that's going to go inside the flow viz right there. And then this will be the end that goes into the union. So this will be the mark that I'm going to actually cut the pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and use this pipe cutting tool that I got at Lowe's. This is good for up to two and a half inch pipe. Okay, so I measured the blade on this end and over here it looks like it's going to be a straight cut. I'm going to go ahead and cut the PVC pipe. Okay. I use a little sandpaper to clean it up a little bit. A little dirty from being in my garage. And I'm going to make another one just like that. Okay, so I have the two pieces that are going to go into the flow viz and the union. And now I'm going to apply the primer and the PVC cement. You want to shake up the PVC cement really good. Okay, I put on some latex gloves. Any primer that gets on your glove, you want to take it off immediately. Eat right through the latex, but it's one way to protect your hands from the primer. You may need a pair of channel locks to get the lid off of these things. They're pretty tight from the factory, so they'll get the primers open. And I got the cement here. I'm going to open that up. And that's open too. Take the union apart real quick so I get the right end. This is the end I'm going to use to glue onto this part and the flow viz. This part will be coming out of the plumbing in the pool. Clean this up. Make sure the flow viz area is clean. And you want to put the cement on when the primer is partially dry. Set that one down. And try not to get any of this on your hands. It's pretty toxic. See that's in there pretty good. And the flow viz. I don't want to get any primer on that nice plastic. Let me hold it this way. Now I'm going to apply the PVC cement. You want to use a liberal amount. You don't want to be shy with it. If you put too little, you will have a union that doesn't connect properly. And you'll have lots of problems later with leaking. And when you push it in there, you want to give it a twist. And you want to hold it for about 30 seconds. Primer still a little bit wet. I'm going to go ahead and put the PVC cement on here. I don't 
put some on the flow viz. Stick this in here. When it goes in, I'm going to push down. And you're going to give it a twist. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to hold it together. Okay, same process again. Got the primer. Put it around this pipe here. Some primer in the union. Some primer inside the flow viz itself. Fitting, press it down, PV cement on this side of the pipe. Here. Jam this in here. And then as I'm pushing in, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a twist. I'll push it as far down as it'll go. I'm gonna hold it down for 30 seconds. And it should look something like this here. Now we're gonna measure this end to be plumbed in. And I have it marked right here, a little under 14 inches. Well, we're not going to cut that much of the pipe, otherwise it'll be short. Remember, it goes one and a half, or almost one and a half inches into each pipe. So the two inch pipe from the plumbing is going to go in here, about one and a half inches roughly. You want to make sure the pool's off. You can also turn the breaker off just to make sure. Okay, so the flow viz will sit right about here, like this. I'll still be able to read the gauge. I'll just have to go down a little lower to read it. Like I said, so I marked on the pipe where I'm going to cut it. This union is going to go right at that mark here. I'm going to cut from that sharpie mark to that sharpie mark. Okay, let me cut this part off the pipe. If you have one of these leveling tools, it's a good time to use that. Make sure you cut the pipe straight. Let's go over a little bit. There we go. Here is going to be accurate. I'm going to go there. That looks about right. And there's a slight problem at the bottom because I can't get anything in here, so I'm going to have to cut it lower. And I'm just going to add a coupling to this piece here, and then it's going to go into the union. So I'm going to actually cut it right here below this pipe because I can't get the cutting tool there. My mistake. It happens a lot out here. Especially when you're working with tight areas of plumbing. Let me cut a pipe down here. That's why it's always good to have extra PVC elbows and couplings and unions. Okay, so I'm going to sand the paint off here. I'm going to sand all this. there but all the way down the cement also gonna do a side coupling here Put that in press down twist hold it for about 30 seconds so it's in there good and I'm gonna add on means I sanded that really good primer in here also the cement Jam that union down. Okay, now comes a big moment. Let's see if it fits in here. The unions. It's gonna be a little tight like I thought it would be, but that's how you want it. Put that on there. Okay, I'm gonna give it a nice shot of paint. And that's the installation of the Flow Viz Complete Unit.
And of course, when you install it, you want to make sure the flow arrow is pointing towards the flow, which is going to come out of the salt cell down here, back into the pool. And I'm going to leave everything off for 24 hours, and I'll come back tomorrow, turn it on, check for any kind of leaks, and then I'll be able to see how the flow is in this particular pool. So that's the installation process of the flow vis, flow meter. I'm here with the unions here, check for leaks, everything is fine. you're plumbing in the complete flow vis, you want to take some precautions and don't plumb it anywhere near the rainbow chlorinator in case the chlorinator gets clogged up. So stay away from these connectors here, so this definitely would not be a good location for it. Of course, anywhere on that pipe in the back would not be good. So the best location would be this pipe coming out of the filter right here. It's far enough away from the rainbow chlorinator that if there is any kind of failure with it, it won't damage the flow vis. So if you have one of these rainbow chlorinators with a flow vis hooked up, just use caution where you install it. And also check it frequently to make sure the tablets are actually melting in there. So this check valve elbows wear out all the time. I carry a bunch of them in my truck because I'm replacing them all the time. And so if you notice the tablets aren't melting, go ahead and change that elbow right away.